leave it to Christianity to get it right for the wrong reasons. First of all, I really missed you too. And secondly, sorry for being away through such misogynistic weeks. I've had a bunch of stories stacking up here, and there are a couple I've got to get to, starting with Dave Dobermeyer's take on the killing of Dante Wright. Now, generally speaking, when a police officer guns down an innocent black man, the pundits on the Christian right line up in defense of the cops. But this time was a little different. Far fewer of the usual suspects came to the cops' defense, and Pat Robertson even ripped apart her bullshit I thought it was a taser excuse on his show. But of course, leave it to Dave Dobermeyer to say the quiet part out loud. The reason they aren't coming to Officer Kim Potter's defense isn't because she's guiltier than those other cops. And it isn't because the evidence is stronger. Hell, we're talking about people who were defending Derek Chauvin after the trial. The real reason is that she's a woman. And women don't have any place being cops and telling men what to do anyway. As Dobermeyer says, quote, A woman's got no business being a cop. How did we ever get to the point where we think that it's normal for a woman to do that? Why? Because that's perverted. Adding, quote, men and women aren't equal. Why have we bought that lie? Why do we promote that lie? Why do you say, well, women deserve equal rights? Now, listen, I'm just telling you, a man can cook, but it's a woman's job. Sorry. And no, he's not really sorry. Now, I see what's going on here. Dave Dobenmeyer figures that with Rush Limbaugh rotting in a coffin somewhere that I'm going to be replacing his voice in the twim intro, and Dave's auditioning for that part. But joke's on you, Dave. The fact that my misogyny intro contains the echoes of a dead man from the past is exactly the kind of symbolism I was hoping for. And look, I know we talk about specific instances of misogyny a lot on this segment, but sometimes it's important to zoom out and remind ourselves the consequences to flippant statements like Dave's. I saw a really interesting study last week out of the journal American Sociological Review that actually quantified that a bit. It showed that women who belong to churches that promote traditional gender roles actually have significantly worse health than women who belong to more inclusive congregations. So to be clear, there are health benefits to going to church. People who go to church regularly tend to be healthier and live longer. Of course, these benefits are indistinguishable from the ones that you get from being a part of any group at all that regularly gets together and mutually supports its members. But it turns out that for women who go to churches that don't allow women in leadership, those benefits disappear. And this was granular too. The more sexist the church, the lower the health benefits. It should surprise nobody, of course. The very thing providing the health benefit is being included in the group. So the less included you are, the less of it you get. It's also a handy piece of evidence that that health benefit has fuck all to do with God's love if you ever find yourself needing one of those too. And while you jot that one down in your memory banks, I'll bid you a fond farewell until next time and hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.